love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. What is up, Grace Bible Kids? Hey, it's Logan here, and it is time for us to look at the fruits of the Spirit. Now remember, the fruits of the Spirit are listed out for us in Galatians chapter 5. That's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And so today we are going to take a look at the first thing on that list, love. Have you guys ever wondered to yourself, how much does God love me? How much does God love you? And, and, and how can we measure that? See, I have with me today a couple things that we use to measure stuff in, in our everyday life. Like, like this, this right here is a measuring cup. And we use this to maybe measure out how much sugar or how many chocolate chips we put in our, in our cookies that we're making. So could we use this maybe to measure God's love for us? And I don't think we could because in Psalm 23, you guys, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. He is with me. He, he leads me. Uh, he makes my cup overflow. And so I don't think this would be big enough to measure God's love for us. Now, what about this? Yeah, this is a watch and we use this to measure time. We use this to measure time in the day, how much time we have until we have to be somewhere or do something. Um, and do you think we could use a watch to measure God's love for us? I don't think we can because Psalm 136 says, God's love endures forever. You guys, God is going to love you forever and ever and ever. So this thing is probably gonna die or run out of batteries before you could measure how much God loves you. And what about this thing, the tape measure? Okay, this, is, this can measure things pretty well. So do you guys think we could use this to measure God's love? I mean, it reaches out pretty far. But yes, yeah, Psalm 108 says, God's love reaches higher than the heavens. And so I think this is only 16 feet long. Yeah, probably not gonna work. I don't think we can measure God's love with a tape measure. So if we can't use any of these things to measure God's love for us, then what can we use to measure God's love? Well, there, there is one thing, you guys, that we can use to measure how much God loves you. And that's, that's the cross. Because you guys, if you're ever wondering, man, how much does God really love me? You guys can look to the cross and say, man, that's how much God loves me. Because guys, John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You guys, that is how much God loves you. He loves you so much that he would send his son Jesus to die on the cross for you and for your sins. In John chapter 13, Jesus commands his disciples to love each other as much as Jesus loves them. To love people like Jesus loves people. The gospel is full of examples and ways that Jesus loved people very well. Jesus went to great lengths to show people his love and he didn't just love the people who were easy to love. He loved the people who didn't like him. He loved his enemies, and he did not expect anything from them. See, sometimes we might go up to our mom and our dad and be really lovey-dovey on them, give them a big hug, just so that we can get what we want in return. But Jesus didn't love in order to receive something from other people. You see, he loved the poor people and the sick people and, and the types of people who couldn't give him anything in return for his love. And so this week, you guys, I'm gonna challenge you to, to practice, to, to, to to work on the fruit of the spirit of love. I want you guys to say, man, how can I love my family? How can I love my friends? How can I love my parents like Jesus loves? And so that's my challenge for you guys this week. And so families, parents, I'm gonna challenge you guys to be looking out for when your kids are just practicing that, that fruit of love um, in, in everyday life and just really be uh, encouraging them in that, praying for them in that. I'm gonna be praying for our kids to be showing love this week. And so, hey, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next Sunday. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control.